Na 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 to realize You are too faithful to fail me You're proving yourself in my life And I've come to realize You are too faithful to fail me Brethren, this evening, I welcome you to yet another prayer section with the Lord. And our topic today is overcoming the spirit of rejection. Overcoming the spirit of rejection. Kala gadu shala baze, elegende yida bazu kata yadaba. For those of us that look forward to this day, and those of us that are just joining for the first time, I pray for you by the power of the one who raised the Jesus Christ from the dead, that today will be the beginning of deliverance for you. And every power, every spirit of rejection is destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Like I said, we're looking at the spirit, uh, overcoming the spirit of rejection. And in dealing with rejection, we're talking about the spirit that has to do with non-acceptance. Non-acceptance. The spirit that deals with being forsaken. The spirit that deals with being being ostracized. The spirit that deals with being segregated. The spirit of what worthlessness lack of acceptance or loneliness and usually when the spirit is in operation it ensures that that individual is hated disliked rejected everywhere they go people who should just like them and favor them would just have no reasons but to hate them and before we go through the storyline or the examples i like us to see an examples of some people who were rejected in the bible to be rejected is not to be accepted and sometimes it may be because of some certain reasons follow me as i go on if you look at the bible record in matthew chapter 9 matthew chapter 9 verse 20 to 22 the woman with the issue of blood was rejected. Of course, she was alone. She had lost every earning she had. There was no record of any relative, husband, or children that were with her. She was the only one in that stench, struggling and running. She had lost all hope and nowhere, no doctors to go to. And so she knew that she had to go to Jesus and touch the hem of his garment. And we give God praise that by that account, she was made whole. Another person who I perceived that was rejected in the Bible, we can see the story in John chapter 5. John chapter 5 verse 1 to 15. The man at the pool of Bethsaida. The record is that the man has been blind for 38 years. Maybe as soon as he was born or as old as he was born, or he was even born blind from birth. But remember what the Bible says. It said there was no one to carry him to the pool when the angels come to shake the waters. There were several people around him. He could hear their voices. He could, he could feel their movements. He could sense it. 
he couldn't see them. I'm not sure he even knows his parents or his relatives because he was living in a state of abandonment and rejection. No one could carry him to the pool when the angels came to stir the water. That was another extreme case of rejection until Jesus Christ came to intervene. Another person was this prostitute in Luke chapter 7, verse 36 to 50. It's a long one, it's a lengthy one. She was rejected, unaccepted. And at the end of the day, when Jesus ministered to her, when Jesus casted her demons from her, she became accepted in the beloved. And so she, she didn't mind coming to break her alabaster boss. She didn't mind coming to, to waste it, so to say, like some of the disciples had said at the feet of Jesus. For her, she had gained acceptability and favor. And those demons who possessed her and made everybody rejected her and made her to live that kind of filthy life had gone. Then the fourth example is the woman caught in the act of adultery. The very man who was even in that same act with her joined them to want to stone her. That is the highest height of <laughs> rejection that I've ever seen. Everybody, maybe even some of those people who have slept with her in the past, who knows that she was good for it or known for that act, they also carry stone to want to stone her. She looked at everybody, they were all known faces, but they were ready to stone her for adultery. Thank God for Jesus who intervened. John chapter 8, verse 1 to 11. And she was made old. That spirit of rejection is nothing to compromise about. If you sense it in your life, it is better you pray it out and set yourself free. It's likened to the spirit of disfavor. Because people will just see you and for no reason they will hate you. They will not like you. They will be choosing people to do a particular task that they know that you are very good at. They will not choose you. It is because the spirit of rejection is at work. Child of God, those are just some few examples that will come to the main example. But for the woman, with the alabaster boss or anyone who has been rejected, once acceptance comes, submission comes. Rejection can come by virtue of your birth. As we would see in the book of Judges chapter 11, the whole of the story talks about the story of Jephthah. We would read it and look at it closely. Rejection can also come by your sex. You will see some of us bearing names that indicated that the parents wanted male children. And they didn't get male children, so they named them that it would have been. But, well, we, we accept this. Rejection can also come by virtue of an aura. Somebody looks well and dressed well, but yet smells. And you are beginning to wonder, this person, why is this person smelling? And whenever the person comes near you, you push, you just move away. You backslide. You don't want the smell to come near you. And some of those smells are deep-seated smells that even the person that is smelling does not know. And the truth of the matter is that sometimes demons are responsible for that smell. And that's why 
Isaac said in Genesis 27 verse 27, that the smell of my son is as the smell of the food that the Lord has blessed. Meaning that when God blesses somebody, that person should smell prosperous. That person should smell well. Some people wear the finest clothes and yet they smell like goats. And people don't want to stay around them. And for some people, the aura, they have negative aura. And some of those things, like I told you, demons are responsible for it. And then we see some people that experience rejection as a result of their religion or their association. Psalm 27 verse 10 says, When my mother and my father forsake me, the Lord will pick me up. Rejection can come as a result of polygamy. Rejection can come as a result of birth. And that's why I said we're going to look closely at the story in Judges chapter chapter 11. We're going to take it easily. The story of rejection is succinctly seen in the life of this young man who is a Gileadite. The Bible recorded in Judges chapter 11 from verse 1. And now Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor, and he was the son of an harlot. And Gilead begat Jephthah. Gilead's wife bare him sons, and his wife's sons grew up. And they trusted Jephthah, and he said, and said unto him, Thou shalt not inherit in our father's house, for thou art the son of a strange woman. So like I told you, rejection can come by virtue of one's birth. It was not his fault that his father had an affair with an alert. It was not his fault that he was born, but yet he was rejected for it, and he was not allowed to inherit in his father's kingdom or property. And Jephthah fled from his brethren, verse 3, and dwelt in the land of Tob, and there were gathered vain men to Jephthah, and they went out with him. And it came to pass in the process of time that the children of Ammon made war against Israel. It was so that when the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the elders of Gilead, they went to fetch Jephthah out of the land of Tob. This was more or less like the story of the rejected stone now becoming the chief cornerstone. And they said unto Jephthah, Come and be our captain, eh? Ah, hmm. uh, an other child that they rejected. Said that we may fight with the children of Haman. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, verse 7, Did not ye hate me? You expelled me out of my father's house. So why are you come unto me now when you are distressed? And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, Wherefore we turn again to thee, thou mayest go with us and fight against the children of Ammon, and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. They are not the one begging him to follow them to battle and to become their leader. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice today. Where you have been rejected, where you have been denied, where the enemy has cast you out, I say go back there and become Lord over them in the name of Jesus. I make a decree that you will be king in their stead in the name of Jesus. So the elders begged him and they promised to make him leader over them. So verse 9, Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, if ye bring me home again to fight against the children of Ammon, and the Lord delivered them before me, shall I be your head? And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, 
the Lord be witness between us if we do not if we do not so according to thy word. They were desperate. They needed somebody to fight for them. All the legitimate children in their midst could not face the enemies, the Ammons, or the Ammonites. They could not face them. So they needed to call this forsaken, forgotten, and rejected son of theirs. In verse 11, Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead, and the people made him edge, captain over them. And Jephthah uttered all this word before the Lord in misprayer. This is a practical case of rejection in the morning and acceptance in the night. And I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice that you will be accepted in the name of Jesus. Jephthah was one man who was rejected by virtue of his birth. He was rejected by his brethren. He was rejected by the elders of Israel. But when they faced enmity, when their enemies came against them, they did not have anybody to call on to except to call him back and make him their head. I pray for you listening to me today that every yoke of rejection over your neck is broken in the name of Jesus. So all of these examples we, we have seen are examples of people who were rejected. We have more of them, but they have favor. And for some, they even rejected some people. So let us look at some examples of those who found favor and they were not rejected. Esther chapter 20. Esther chapter 20, verse 15 to 17. If you look at that story, Esther found favor and she became a queen. Esther found favor and she became a queen. She became a queen in a strange land. She became a queen in a land where she went as an house help. Esther was taken to the king's, to his royal tent, and the king accepted her. He made her queen instead of Vashti. So rejection was gone from the case of Esther. Favor came to her. There was also another time where Esther went to see the king. In Esther chapter 5, verse 1 to 3. And ordinarily, they are not supposed to go and see the, the, the king like that. You have to take permission. You have to be, he has to expect you. But thank God the king raised the royal scepter unto Esther. He stretched out the golden scepter and she was made to leave. And her requests were granted. You can read it. Esther chapter 5 verse 1 to 3. Another man who was really, really favored after he was rejected and sold out was Joseph. Joseph was favored. Joseph was blessed in Potiphar's house after being rejected. Let us look at the verse in the Bible. Let's read it. It's a long one. Genesis chapter 39, verse 2 to 5. The Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man. He was in the house of his master, the Egyptian, and his master saw that the Lord was with him, and the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had, he put into his hand. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in the house, over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessings of the Lord was upon all 
that he had in the house and in the field. That was another man who found favor, Joseph. Joseph found favor and God was with him. Psalm 103 verse 2 to 5. The scripture talks about God satisfying us early and satisfying us with good things, renewing our youth like that of an ego, redeeming us from destruction, crowning us with loving kindness and tender mercy. That is the prayer of every believer, every child of God, everyone on the surface of the earth. Not being forgotten, not being rejected, but receiving abundant benefit from God. And I pray for somebody here today, that will be your portion in Jesus' name. Look at another case of one man who was, who, who was really, really blessed and favored. And uh, reading the Bible very well, you find out that he, he served almost five kings. About five kings in Babylon, in a strange land where he was taken to be a servant. <clears throat> in a strange land where he was taken to serve his enemies. And he was made a governor. Let's look at... Um, Daniel chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. Ka la gadu, sha la gadu. De le bon zoko to yi baba. Every evil bird. Flying evil. In the area where you live. To obstruct the network tonight. Let the fire of God locate them. And destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Bible says that he pleased Darius to set over the kingdom. The 120 princes, we should be over the whole kingdom and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first. There were three presidents and Daniel was made first. Daniel was preferred above all the presidents and the princes because an excellent spirit was upon him. An excellent spirit was upon him. I pray for an excellent spirit upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray that the hand of the Lord will take away the stigma and the shame of rejection in the name of Jesus. Daniel was made a president in a foreign land, in a strange land. And of the three presidents, he was most preferred. Child of God, it is important to pray for this kind of anointing and blessing of Daniel. I pray that you will get it. It's a, it's a prayer of favor. It's a prayer of lifting. It's a prayer of abundance. And the Lord will give us today in Jesus' name. So another person who we we'll look at in Second Kings chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-seven to thirteen. So, and it came to pass in the seventh and thirtieth year of captivity of Joachim, king of Judah, in the twelve months, on the seventh and twentieth day of the month, that evil Meroda, king of Babylon, in the year that he began to reign, did lift up the head of Joachim, king of Judah out of the prison and he spake kindly to him he set his throne above the throne of kings that were with him in babylon and changed his prison garment he did not eat, he did eat bread continually before him all the days of his life and his allowance was a continual allowance given him of the king a daily rate for every day all the days of his life I just read to us 2 Kings chapter 25, verse 27 to 30. 2 Kings chapter 25, verse 27 to 30. We're talking about another man, King Joachim, who was taken to the land of Babylon, and he was a slave. God showed him favor, and an evil king did lift up his head and blessed him tremendously. 
So child of God, this is the time to know that rejection cannot stay. Rejection cannot stand. But the truth of the matter is that rejection is also a spirit. It's a spirit. It's the spirit of worthlessness, like I told us before. It's the spirit of loneliness. It's the spirit of lack of acceptance. Rejection tells you that you are not good enough. Rejection tells you that you are a mistake. Rejection tells you that you never do well. It robs you of your joy. And it brings non-achievement into your life. But if you would pray, just if you would go to God and ask Him to help you, ask Him to forgive you, if you are here listening to the sound of my voice and you are not born again, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, then you, you, you are paving your way to facing the greatest rejection. That rejection where at the end of the day we say, I knew you not. Let them cast to the lake of fire. It is not our portion. So first run from the ultimate rejection. First run away from it. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to cleanse you. Ask God to make you whole. Ask God to wash you with his blood. When all of that is done, when all of that is done, you will begin to see the goodness of God in your life. You begin to see the favor of God and the hand of God in your life. So go to God and pray. Ask him to forgive you. Rededicate your life to God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom given. And honor, power and might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. It's a life. Amen. It's a life. Jesus is alive, forever is alive, amen. He's alive, amen. He's alive, my Savior is alive, forever is alive, amen. Oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Oh, glory. Oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the most irenet, the most irenet, the most irenet in my life today, the most irenet, the most irenet, the most irenet in my life today. Brethren, we are going to pray against the spirit of rejection. And we are going to start by pleading the blood of Jesus. Using the blood of Jesus to cleanse us from every form of sin. Every occurrence that would have brought in the spirit of rejection into our life. Whatever source of attack that may have opened the door of that spirit of rejection into our life. We're going to ask God to cleanse us with his blood. To cleanse us with the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. 
There is power mighty in the blood. Deliverance power. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is nothing the blood of Jesus cannot do. So child of God, I need you this very moment to begin to ask God to use his blood to wash you, to cleanse you from every form of unrighteousness, from every spirit of rejection. Let the blood of Jesus wash you. Dip yourself into the pool of the blood. Dip yourself into the pool of your blood and let the blood wash you. Say, Father, send your fire, your purifying fire, and let it visit every ungodly root in my life. Whatever root that is giving rise to the seed of rejection and hatred in my life. Father, let your fire burn it down. Let your sword cut it down in the name of Jesus. Every ungodly root that is breeding seed of rejection, that is bringing about rejection and hatred in my life. Oh Lord my God, send your axe. Send your axe to the, to, to the foundation of the tree. And let them cut it off in Jesus' name. Send your fire. Let it burn it down in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord this morning that you will willingly and you will deliberately, knowing God, divorce that spirit. Every spirit of rejection say, I separate myself from you. I divorce you. I cast you out of my life. You can no longer have any inroad into my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I stop your oppression. Get out of my life, you foul spirit of rejection. I will no longer be rejected. I am accepted in the beloved. I am not rejected. I am a child of God. Every mark of rejection that has been inscribed on my forehead, I use the blood of Jesus to blot it out. Let the blood of Jesus wash it out. Brethren, begin to wash wash it wash it physically wash it use the blood of jesus to wash off every mark of rejection mark of failure mark of setback mark that the enemy puts even from their demonic coven that as soon as people see you they will not want to favor you use the blood of jesus the blood cleanses the blood makes all the blood redeems as the lord to use his blood to begin to wash every mark of rejection in your life. And child of God, it is time to break the spell. Whatever spell, whatever jinx, whatever cause of rejection that the enemy has infiltrated or inflicted upon you or infiltrated into your life, come ask the spirit of that rejection to be destroyed and ask the power of God to chatter it. Every spell, every jinx every cause of rejection i break it i destroy it from its very root in the name of jesus and i exterminate the mission of the spirit of rejection i come against it i arrest it in the name of jesus you cannot reign in my life in the name of jesus from today henceforth i decree that you spirit of rejection have no place in my life i send you out i suck you in jesus name Amen. Lord God Almighty, I begin to terminate. I terminate the mission of the spirit of rejection in my life, in the name of Jesus. And I decree that henceforth, in the name of Jesus, my Father, henceforth, rejection will not come near me, in the name of Jesus. Father, raise a benefactor for me. Raise an helper for me, an helper that will not allow me to be rejected in the name of Jesus. Let helpers locate me, even like that evil king in the Bible, that the Bible says that the widow made him weary, and he answered her, the unjust king. Father, Lord, raise helpers for me, even like evil Merodach. Father, Lord, even Merodach of Babylon, let them favor me as he favored the king of Israel in the name of Jesus. 
Brethren, tell the Lord that you receive the spirit of favor to, to, and you reject the spirit of setback. You reject the spirit of rejection. You reject the spirit of failure. I receive the spirit of favor. I receive the spirit of acceptance. In the name of Jesus, I reject rejection. In the name of Jesus, and by the power of God and the power in the blood, the Lord, the blood of Jesus has saved me. The blood of Jesus has redeemed me. Wherever I be rejected in the past, I shall be favored. I shall be accepted in the name of Jesus. Every power of witchcraft, every demonic enchantment, satanic covering that is making people to reject me. Oh Lord, my God. I destroy it. I rendered it useless, harmless in the name of Jesus and through the blood of Jesus. And I make a decree that I will refuse to be a victim of the spirit of rejection. I refuse it in the name of Jesus. Rejection, get out. Go to the wilderness. Go to the habits. I am not your victim in the name of Jesus. In Genesis 27 verse 27, Bible says that the, the smell of my son is as the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. Father, perfume my life with the aroma of Christ so that from today, good and helpful people, helpers will locate me, helpers will locate me, helpers will be attracted to me. Divine helpers will be attracted to me in the name of Jesus. According to your word in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, I will arise and I will shine for my light has come. For my light has come. Now is my time to arise in the name of Jesus. I shall be well favored like Joseph. I shall be favored like uh, the, the, at the beginning. Joseph brothers did not favor him in any way. But at the end of the day, God favored him. David was favored. Daniel was favored. Esther was favored. Everywhere they went, they were favored. Lord God Almighty, favor me like Esther. Father, favor me like Daniel, who served almost five kings in, the, in Babylon. Father, favor me, O God. Kala Gadiba says he served in the cabinet of nearly five Babylonian kings. Lord God Almighty, favor me. Favor me like Joseph. Favor me like David, O God. Lord, use your mercies to soak me, O God. Soak me in the blood. Soak me in the blood. Soak me by your mercy. Father, soak me in the blood by your mercy. Use your blood to cleanse me. Father, let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy speak for me. When men see me, let them see your mercy. When men see me, let them see your favor. Everyone that is, has been assigned at any particular point in time to do me any help, Father should favor me and should have divine mercy on me. In the name of Jesus, whatever case is to be decided must be decided in my favor. Whether it's in any panel or any place where they will want to single me out for greatness, Father, let it be so in the name of Jesus. By faith in Jesus' name and in the word of God, I shall always be preferred above others. I shall not be rejected in the mighty name of Jesus. In my walk, I shall not be rejected. In the area where I live, I shall not be rejected. Concerning my calling, I shall not be rejected. Concerning interviews or selection processes, I shall not be rejected in the name of Jesus for admission. I shall not be rejected in my examination. I shall be the head and not the tail in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive by the power of the Most High God the anointing, the kind of anointing that came upon Daniel, that he was preferred above others of all the presidents that were appointed. He was the most preferred and he was the highest ranking one. Father, give me that excellent spirit like that of Daniel and cause men to favor me, cause kings to favor me. Let them come to the rising of my morning. Help me, O oh God, to suck from the breast of queens, O oh God. Convert the wealth of the Gentiles to me. Give me, O oh God, exceptional favor. Let me be loved, O oh God, at all times. Let favor attract, let me favor attract people to me in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above every name. I say no one will be able to say no to all my genuine and honest requests. Not anymore. Not anymore. From henceforth, 
I shall succeed. From henceforth, I shall be favored. Spiritually, I shall be favored. Health-wise, I shall be favored. Financially, I shall be favored. Academically, I shall be favored. Maritally, I shall be favored. In the mighty name of Jesus, because all the promises of God are yea and amen. And I know that they are in Christ Jesus. So favor is my portion. In Jesus' name, amen. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh Lord, do something new in my life. Something wonderful in my life. Something glorious in my life. Oh Lord. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh Lord, I cannot do without you. In the name of Jesus that is above all names, I say no. No one, no one will reject me. Not anymore. The mark of disfavor and rejection has been cleansed off. And I put the mark of Christ. Because the Bible says, from henceforth, let no man trouble me. Because I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. All that I have lost through the spirit of rejection, I regain them back. I regain them one after the other in the name of Jesus. And I command the heavens to bring goodness to me. I command the heads to favor me. Because the Bible says the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. So you earth, everything good consigning me that you have swallowed, that has made people to reject me, I command you, vomit them now and give them to me. In Jesus' name, I command by the power of the one who created the heavens and the earth in the mighty name of Jesus, that from henceforth, people I do not know, they will favor me. They will compete to do me good. They will bless me. I shall not be rejected in the name of Jesus. I shall be highly favored. I shall be blessed at all times. I shall increase in wisdom. I shall increase in understanding. I shall increase in knowledge. I shall be favored. No more rejection. Even suitors will no longer reject me in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, in even interviews, I will not be rejected in the name of Jesus. In my family, I will not be rejected in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you very sincerely from the bottom of my heart. I thank you for forgiving me my sins, for driving out the spirit of rejection. I thank you for redeeming my time. I thank you for bringing me to a new season and a new time of grace and favor. And henceforth, I decree that I shall experience grace, exponential favor, rewarding favor, breakthrough favor, favor that surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus. I will not be rejected because I have terminated the spirit of rejection. Every covenant that I have with that spirit, known and unknown, today I stand as a oracle of the Lord and I break that covenant in my life in the name of Jesus. It will do you good to say these prayers after me, play the tape over and over again, say it after me, Say it in your personal form. Tell the Lord, Kasiba Lagadu Shelebo. Say it in your singular form. Tell God, this is what you want. Say no to rejection. And the Spirit of the Lord will help you. And shame will be far from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kela Katushalabaze. Delegede Brokosulabaze. In Jesus' name.